art of our century held a preview of their own future. Filmmakers around the world brought together the greatest concentrates had ever seen. They were the hit of the fair. Motion pictures, it has been said, are the only art form man has invented in the last 5,000 years. It is an art which grew out of technology, machines and electricity, chemistry and optics. And it is an art in which new technology sparks new bursts of creativity. Today, film artists are exploding with inventiveness in multi-images and multi-screens, in mixed media and computer-generated films. A fantastic variety of movie experiences pointing the way to an even more fantastic future. The British Pavilion displayed one of the most brilliant uses of multiple images to date on three screens, Don Levy's Sources of Energy. This is Labyrinth, plays experiences including two unusual film theaters. This theater uses five screens, 12 by 16 feet each, arranged in the form of a cross. Here the Canadian Film Board shows how effective multiple screens can be in a storytelling film. The filmmakers play their screens for dramatic values, alternating images, building mood and suspense. For Canadian Pacific, Francis Thompson and Alexander Hammond used six large screens, 3,000 square feet, for their film, We Are Young. Filmmakers say multiple screens force the audience to be selective. You move your eyes from picture to picture, selecting your image, and this, they say, increases the viewer's involvement.
The province of Ontario built one of the largest screens in the world, three stories high, six stories wide, for a film by an Ontario native, Chris Chapman, called A Place to Stand. It shows what the new shape of films can do to the old-fashioned travelogue. Unlike the multiple screen films we've seen, Chapman's method needs only one projector. The many images are printed onto a single roll of 70 millimeter film, twice as wide as ordinarily used in theaters. With this technique, the filmmaker is free to use any number of pictures in any size or shape he chooses for a wide variety of effects. This is a whole family of film innovators, John Whitney and his three sons of Los Angeles. Their goal, new instruments for the new visual arts of the future. The Whitneys want the film artist to have at his disposal as great an array of instruments as the musical composer. They design and build their own equipment. It is automated and it is computerized. They use it to explore the fundamentals of graphic design. Working with abstract images, the Whitneys program their ideas into a computer. The computer relays the instructions to the automated camera and animation stand. The result is a series of images in motion, accomplished faster and more precisely than older methods would allow. This three-screen film is by Michael, Mark, and John Whitney, Jr. At Stony Point, New York, Willard Van Dyke, director of the film department of New York's Museum of Modern Art, visits Stan Vanderbeek's movie Drome, a hemisphere for films. Like the Whitney's, Vanderbeek considers the computer an essential tool for the filmmaker of the future. Vanderbeek and Van Dyke must lie on the floor to look at the images above. Vanderbeek covers the entire surface of the dome with slides as well as motion pictures. Like a planetarium, the dome gives the illusion of infinite space. 
Van Der Beek calls it a replica of the universe. Van Der Beek foresees a time when he will be able to store millions of still and moving images in a computer memory bank and recall them at will to orchestrate them on his movie drone. Vanderbeek sees other uses for the computer. At Bell Laboratories, he used one to generate moving designs and photograph them off the computer's visual display screen. This technique opens up a new form of imagery, which Vanderbeek says could not have been achieved in any other way. At Expo, Czechoslovakian filmmakers put the computer to work in an ingenious new concept for audience participation. It is called Kino Automat. The film is stopped at turning points in the plot to let the audience vote on how they want the story to develop. First, the audience is briefed on how Kino Automat works. You have two push buttons, a red one and a green one. You see? Yes, see. You, you can change this which on the computer. Yeah. Please press the buttons. The push buttons feed into a computer tabulator. The vote of each seat number registers on a frame around the screen. Now stop, stop, stop. The computer adds up the votes and flashes the totals of the green buttons and the red. Thank you, that's all. It is an excellent audience for us in our I don't know. <laughs> I know. And the story? Yes, I have told you that the audience could decide how the story developed. Oh. We shall tell the story. The actor on stage, Miroslav Hornacek, also stars as Mr. Novak, the hero of the film. The movie is called One Man and His World. Mrs. Voboda has inadvertently locked herself out of her apartment. She tries to explain this to her husband. I, I didn't explain the whole thing to you. Her towel is caught in the door of her neighbor, Mr. Novak, who had innocently tried to help the lady. You weren't expecting me so early. No. Please wait, let me tell you what happened. Hello, Martha. Look, Mr. Novak, I'm not blind, I can see what's going on here. But you're quite wrong, Mrs. Hobida. Please, he's got nothing to do That's with right. it. That's right. Obvious who's to blame. What do you mean by that? For heaven's sake, try to be reasonable, Mr. Svoboda. But you needn't explain. I've known my wife for five years. Why won't you let me tell you what happened? I was ironing and somebody rang the doorbell. Goodbye, I'm going out. Give me oh. the keys. You can't leave me here in the nude. I, I... Novak's wife, Martha, arrives. Martha, I... Yes, Mrs. Novak, I was outside. I didn't have any clothes on and your husband came out and Don't offered to help that. me. I'll explain it. He... Don't bother. Martha. Martha. Martha, come back. Wait now, Martha. I... Let me make it quite clear you're not coming back in here again. Miss you can't Martha. Let me in. Let me in. Mrs. Fobita, please. Get your hands off me. Martha. What should Novak do? Follow his wife or follow his neighbor's wife? That Martha. choice is left to the audience. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, has been a dreadful mistake. Babe, that's what you think. A typically male attitude. Please help him. He now has a strange lady in his flat and his own wife in a strange flat. Decide for him, according to your own inclination. Where should he go? In a few seconds he will act according to your decision. The green button says to follow his wife, red one, to help his robot outage on the computer. You've got ten seconds again. Time's running out. The audience casts its votes. The green button to follow his wife, the red button to follow Mrs. Voboda. Stop, stop. The computer tabulates ah, the book. The majority has chosen the green solution. So let's have a look how Mr. Novak is rushing after his wife. Come on, Mr. Novak. Novak goes off in the direction the audience has sent him.
Porter! Come here a minute. Didn't you see me come in? Why? What time was it? Uh, ten to three. You have an excellent memory, lucky for me. Come with me and tell it to my wife. I never interfere with things that don't concern me. I'm not asking you to interfere. Just say it was ten to three. Come on. I'm afraid I can't overset the regulations for anybody. But she's going back to her mother. I have no authority to prevent it. Stop! Why stop? Excuse me. Excuse me, I know you made your choice and we complied, but... What a marvelous word, but. How often in life does one say, but? But, uh... Don't hurry, there is time enough. We are going to... Now, Kino Automat will give the audience a chance to change its mind. The action will be reversed to the point at which the audience last voted, and they will vote again on the same alternatives. Norbert, Mr. Norbert. All right, then. Let's think it over once more for the last time. You have now an opportunity to do something that in real life would be impossible, to decide once more what has been already decided. You can change your mind and choose the alternative solution. That means you either confirm your choice by the green button or you will change it by the red one, switch on the computer. Remember, please, that the green button says to follow his wife, red one, to help Mrs. Svoboda. You've got ten seconds. Stop! Ah! The majority has changed its mind. That means that Mr. The audience Norbert does change its mind. And Novak goes to help Mrs. Svoboda. Mrs. Svoboda! Mrs. Svoboda! Are you all right? I have to get home, Mrs. Zemeck. Don't. Please! Please! Svoboda. If you don't open the door, I'll call the police. Don't I'll you ever get me into a mess like that again. I thought you were... What's going on up there? Let it's nothing in. to do with you. Oh, how can you do this to me? The decision of the audience has sent Novak in a circle. He's right back where he started, ready for the audience to start him off in a new direction. New York's Ed Emschweller also mixes film and live performers, but in a very different way. This composition is called Body Works. Emschweller uses three handheld 8mm projectors. He paints the live dancers with movies of dancers, and he bathes the whole scene with bursts of color. Soon you can't distinguish the live action from the film. The movement becomes almost hypnotic. The images turn into abstractions. Many uses of film will demand new theater designs. This theater at Expo's Labyrinth, photographed by Life magazine, may be one of them. The twin screens measure 17 by 37 feet. One lies horizontally on the floor below the balconies. The other thrusts vertically up the far wall. The point of view shifts between the horizontal and the vertical to give us the feeling of an extra dimension.
In the 21st century, true three-dimensional films will be a reality. Computers may be essential tools of the filmmaker. There will be visual wonders beyond imagination. Today, the emphasis is on technique. Technique will be mastered, as sound was in the 30s, color in the 40s, and wide screens in the 50s. But technique is not enough. In the 21st century, as in the past, great films will start with meaningful ideas, with a writer and a blank piece of paper, with actors and directors, with individual filmmakers using their talent and inspiration to transform them into works of art.